Dad, what happened? They done did it again. They done blown up gate number five. Where's the beach rider? They couldn't find him, Oscar Conway. He done blown up with it. How big is the break? Powerful big. The water's pulled over everything. You call your father at the dam. I'll phone the sheriff. Hello. Yes, Mary. What? I'll get right down there. Gate five has just been dynamited. Call Sam at the construction camp. Tell him to hurry men and timber. Put those timbers back on the train. Gate five's been blown up. So oh, it's gate five this time, eh? And a ditch rider along with it. There's somebody that won't even stop at murder to keep us from finishing the canal. I'd like to get me two hands on the dirty scoundrel. So would I. Let go, Mike. All right. All aboard, everybody. All aboard. And you didn't see anybody riding away from there? No, sir, Chef. Nobody. But dynamite doesn't explode by itself. Somebody's setting it off. But why would anyone in this country want to keep the canal from being built? That water is our lifeblood. I'll go out and have a look over the ground. Sooner or later, they'll leave a clue behind. Something's got to be done, Steve. Dad and all the other ranchers, everything they own is invested in this project. If it fails now... I won't let it fail. Not when it means that much to you. Get around that stair, folks! Sorry, ma'am. You should be. If you knew anything about handling cattle, this wouldn't have happened. I guess you're right. Hey, Dean, I bet you threw that baby quick in your world record at the rodeo last year. If you'll put the animal back in the corral and come to the office, I'll give you your check. Now I know what was in this steer's mind. I bet he wanted to be delivered to you personally. And I don't blame him. Put a rope on him, Frog, and take him back to the corral. Haven't you heard? Water shut off while the repair of the dynamited gate. There goes a whole season's crop. I'm sure sorry, eh? Well, just another one of those things, I guess. We're doing our best to put water on your land. But when our men are killed and our gates destroyed, how can we help it? I'll tell you how. You put a man on that job instead of that darn fool that can't even take care of himself. The wise men in the valley who will protect our crops and property. Very well, gentlemen. Which of you is the man? I suppose you're willing to take the job. Why, I've got my own place to look after. So have I. You know I'm married and got a family. You're not married. Well, no. But I'm keeping company. Well, gentlemen, it's up to you. <clears throat> Never mind, Mother. We'll make out somehow. What do you want? I'd like to pick up a check for that beef we delivered today. We'll settle with Mr. Autry the next time he's in town. That suits me. I'm Mr. Autry. Pay him, please. Oh, hello. Got that steer back, and here's the slip to prove it. You sent for me, boss? There's been another explosion, Bo. Any dynamite missing from the warehouse? Nope. Not a bit. Here's your check, Mr. Autry. Here's your beef tally, ma'am. 
Fifty even. Counting the one that tried to get friendly. I hope you'll enjoy your ride back to the ranch. I reckon the ranch will have to be doing without me for a while. I was figuring on asking you for that ditch rider's job. Isn't it still open? Why? Why, yes, but... What's uh... the matter with the job you've got? Nothing. I just thought I'd like this one better. But you don't understand what ditch riding means. Five men have been killed. And if you take my advice... That's good advice, Jean. Let's get out of here. Do I get the job or don't I? Well, I'm not so sure you can hold it. That's a man-sized job, Audrey. Meaning, I guess, that it's too big for you. Suppose Bull here was a rancher who wanted more water than his share in the company entitled him to. Well, I wouldn't let him have it. Well, what if I took it anyway and started pushing you around like this? Why, I'd just... That's what I'd do. Yeah. <laughs> That's what we do. Hold on, Bull. You ask the gentleman what he'd do. He's showing us that he's the man for the job and he's entitled to it, isn't he? I, uh, sure. Report here at 7 o'clock in the morning. I'll be here. Boy, that was sure as well holds you. How'd you do that? Boy, that was a dude. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. I got a bone to pick with that guy. You watch me. This is going to be good. Why don't you look where you're going? I didn't mean to get in your way. Oh, you want to argue, huh? I'm, I'm sure sorry. You want to get tough with me? Hmm? You never do it, boy. Hey, you quit twisting my arm! <laughs> <laughs> no on. Nice of you to show me around. been killed. Another construction accident. They're supposed to be unavoidable, you know. That wasn't. And I'm going to give Bull a piece of my mind when I check up with him. He deserves it. And while you're doing that, I'll go over and inspect the big gate. I'll meet you later and you can see me home. Swell. If I'd known that was part of my duties, I'd taken the job for nothing. <laughs> You're all wet. You're telling me. Who's the man on the pinto? I didn't see anyone, but I thought I heard a shot. No. That was the splash I made when I fell in. <laughs> I told you ditch riding was dangerous. Nothing's happened so far, but it might have a chill. Then we'd better hurry back. It'll be dark by the time we get to town.
What's the idea? I thought it was seeing you home. There's no rest for the boss's daughter. She still has work to do. You make me feel guilty. It was mighty nice of you to waste too much of your time on me. Oh, but it wasn't wasted. I never had a more enjoyable day. Good night. Good night. Hello, Steve. Where were you? Just helping Mr. Autry get acquainted with his job. You ought to be pretty well acquainted by this time. Your father just called again. He said he wanted you to bring me his reports. Thanks. We were worried about you. You ought to know I can take care of myself. So can that ditch rider without any help from you. I wish you wouldn't talk that way, Steve. You have no right to criticize me. Take it and like it, son. Good work, Jamie. You're going to be needing a new ditch rider. How did you guess? Yeah? When? Tonight. What gate? Yeah. Well, not because it's this gate tomorrow. They'll be hanging out a sign for a new ditch rider.
show you how to close this gate. I don't even want to huddle. If I'm going to make a ditch rider out of you, Frog. Not me, you don't. All right, then, if you're afraid. Oh, is that so? Well, I'm not afraid of you. One of those other riders never lived long enough to tell what happened. What is it? Dynamite. Oh, no, I don't want it. Bring it here. How long do I have to carry this explosion around till it blows up? Now, don't forget where we hit it. What's the use of remembering? I'm not coming back. Frog, if you wanted everybody in Red River to see you, where would you go? I'd go to the saloon. Well, that's where we're going. this valley they say you are going I will miss your bright eyes and sweet smile for they say you are taking the sunshine that has brightened our path all the while do you think of the valley you're leaving? Oh, how lonely and dreary it will be. Do you think of the fond heart you're breaking and the sadness you've cast over me? Come and sit by my side if you love me. Do not hasten to bid me adieu. But remember the Red River Valley and the cowboy who loved you so true. Another time, fellas. Rob's got a little number all wrapped up here for you. <laughs> I used to call my cows with a whistle. I used to call my dog with a horn. Harmonica's the thing to wake the chicken. Let the rooster sleep late at morn. I used to have a swell calling system. I blew till I run out of breath. A hillbilly band from the city. Run all of my animals to death. Fetch me down my shooting line, I'm going hunting. Fetch me down my trusty 45. See the fire in my eye, watch the smoke when I go by. Fetch me down my trusty 45. They had a guy that played the Ackham Pucky. Another fella played the saxophone. I never in all my days seen the gadgets. Them hillbilly fellers played for me. 
Now one had a funny sounding dinker. Looks like he'd beat off his ear. They might like that noise in the city, but you ain't a gonna play it here. It's me. Down my shooting line, I'm going hunting. Fetch me down my trusty 45. See the fire in my eye. Watch the smoke when I go by. Fetch me down my trusty 45. It's me. Down my shooting line, I'm going hunting. Fetch me down my trusty 45. See the fire in my eye. Watch the smoke when I go by. Fetch me down my trusty 45. See those horses? Pentos. They're heading for the job to report to Bull that you're still alive. Yeah, and when the gold bull's gonna tell him to hustle back to the gate number nine and get rid of the evidence. Trouble, don't shoot to kill. I won't ask him a few questions. Come on, get on your horse. So you're sure you weren't out there looking for the dynamite that was planted in the gate? I've been telling you, we don't know nothing about it. Then why did you run away just because you heard a horse winning? We thought it was a holdup. What do you make of it, Ed? So far, there's no case against it. But they were looking for the dynamite. And they both rode pinto horses like the man that shot at me. You just supposed they were looking for the dynamite. And there's plenty of pintos in this country. They might be guilty, but you haven't given me enough evidence to hold them on. Well, that being the case, then we'll mosey along. You bet you will, and we'll start you on your way. See that you don't come back. Come on. Oh, we've got to hide out, and we want to know where it is. Well, anyway, you tried to clear up the cause of these explosions. Yes, better luck next time. It was luck enough for one day that nothing worse happened. They were guilty, Mr. Baxter. And they're working for someone else. Now, who do you suppose it could be that don't want you to complete this project?
That's my job. Tell him what? to me, men. I know you are heart and soul in this project just as much as we ranchers who've sunk everything into it. And you know what we've been up against. Fighting time. Fighting dynamiters. What you've built up, they're trying to tear down. And what they've done has strained our finances pretty hard. This week, there was another emergency. It had to be met with money if we were to carry on. What I'm asking you to understand is why the payroll will have to wait another week. What? You mean we work two weeks without a payday? We didn't stall you in our work, and you ain't gonna stall us in our money. Easy, Bill! No. No. If your project is so important, like you say it is, you can raise enough money to pay us off. And don't expect another lick of work until you do. Come on, man, let's get out of here. I told you we were at the end of our rope. Not yet, Conway. There's a few yards that you hadn't figured on. Here's your check for my beef. The money's still in your bank. Take it and use it. Thanks, Dean. But that's only a drop in the bucket. But you sure make me feel that we're not licked yet. I'll see Hartley more well, again. He won't be back until tonight. And those men aren't going to wait. Come, Mary. We've got to get a delegation together to argue with more. We've got to have that loan, Mr. Moore. But my bank already holds mortgages on half your property, and now you're asking me to accept the other half. Of course we are. The tail goes with the high. I understand, gentlemen. But we haven't time to argue. The men are out of control. Why, Gene Autry's over at the saloon now, trying to keep the men from quitting the job. If you walk out now, you'll ruin this valley. Everybody will lose their homes, farms, everything they've got. Can't do that to women and children who aren't to blame. We've got families, too. They've got to eat. You'll get your money. Baxter's arranging a loan now. He'll be here and tell you so himself. When? Now don't pay any attention to this ditch rider. What does he care about you? Nothing. All he's trying to do is ace himself in with Baxter's daughter. Leave her name out of this, Ralph. Why are you... Leave her out of it. I can't stop you from quitting. But you ought to Baxter to give him a chance to raise that money. Don't you think so, Bull? Well, if the men want to finish the job and then sing for the money, it's all right with me. Singing for it isn't such a bad idea at that. How about it, men? Do you want Bull to lead us in a little song? Not unless he can sing better than he can play checkers. <laughs> Come on, Bill, let's hear how you think. Or I'm not saying for nobody. <laughs> what do you want to sing, Red River Valley? Let's have it. From the valley, the same. Bright eyes and sweet smile for the sin and the sunshine. Our paths all the while as you go to your home by the valley. Come on, everybody.
don't you feel better? Nothing like a song. Hello, Mr. Baxter. I've got news for you, men. We've just put through a loan. You get a double pay on the 15th and a 10% bonus. How about it, man? That sounds good to me. Where are you, Mr. Baxter? We killed Mr. Baxter in the Red River Valley. Hooray! We've got to get rid of that fellow, Autry. He's too smart to be healthy for any of us. What's he done now? Well, held him out in the saloon until Baxter got there. And then helped Baxter sell them the idea of waiting for a double payday. Conway, that money must never reach the men. Yes. When the payroll is being made up on the 15th, him, Gene. Now, sing your way out of this one, Dick Ryder. It's a 
trap. We gotta jump for it. I can't swim. Well, hold your horse's tail. Horsey, you keep your tail up. Of them. There's only one way to square ourselves, and that's to recover that payroll. You bet. That's all. We don't even know who took it. But we do. Remember those two fellows you followed that day? That's right. They must have stolen it while Bull was keeping us busy fighting. Where'd they go? You ride all day across those sand dunes till you're almost dying of thirst. Then you come to an old prison that used to be a fort. Then they got you. Maybe yes, maybe no. We're going to find out who's going to get who. him in on the payoff. Well, if he's in on his friend Conway is, too. There's somebody bigger than Conway behind all this. I think my hunch is right. Who? That's what we're going to find out right now. It's ten times more than we were promised for doing the job. Meaning, uh... Just what you think. Sure, we did all the work. We ought to get all of it. You get in here and do what I told you. Circle around the building, come in the other side. <laughs> there she is. Now we'll hot foot it out of the country. How bad my partner is hurt. Pick him up. I'll call a meeting of the board of directors and see what can be done for you. But there isn't time for that. The men are out of hand right now. I'm sorry, but my first duty is to my bank and to my depositors. Good day, gentlemen. Get your money. You bet the will, old timer. Got the boss. 
Yeah. Like I'll both. Well, shoot. Ever have a nickel? You you get it. No. Watch. Next ball, look out. Hey. How about giving me a drink? Not till you start talking. Well, I'm not thirsty. What's the news? Mr. Baxter says he can't do anything for us. We have waited long enough. Let's do something. If we can't have our pay, they can't have our work. I know whether it's 100 pounds of dynamite. Yeah, and I know how to use it. Well, then, what are we waiting for? The men are crazy. They're on their way to blow up the dam. Hurry back to your engine and get steam up. Miller, try and get the sheriff. The rest of you men round up every man that we can count on and meet us at the work train. If we can get there first, we can hold them all. Hurry! you get the water. Who's back of all this? Certainly I want to foreclose on their land. But what good's the valley to me if the dam's blown up? Tell the men I've given them their pay. Anything. It's too late. They've started. We've got to stop them.
fella. To the warehouse. We'll load a car with dynamite. I'll be back soon. Now, Boo, you walk ahead of me. Fanny! Come on, get in here quick. Gene's coming across the dam with a payroll. All the saints be pleased. I'll tell the men, stop this fighting. Bye. 
valley We'll be pals until life just 